Okay, in this video I'd like to show you how the platform works with the stair stringer when you use this method for um, attaching the top stringer this way. Now, you can see that the stair landing, and again I just cut the plywood random, um, the stair landing is going to come all the way out and your top of your stair stringer is actually going to be part of the floor or the deck, um, stair landing, whatever it's going to be. Now the other method where I'll show you later um, will be a little different to where the stair stringer won't be part of the floor at all. So I put a sample riser up here with a one inch nosing to give you an idea how how that works. Simply um, allow for your riser or nail your risers on first before you cut your stair landing um, to make sure that you get the measurements right because your treads, your stair treads, are going to have a one inch overhang on them. Again, that's if that's the one, that's the uh, type of stairway you build. You can build stairs without and overhang and if that's the case you will make sure that this is going to be even with the riser so depending upon which type of stairway you build um, and don't forget you have an undercut stair system too where the stairs actually the riser actually goes back at an angle so depending upon which type of system you want you use um, will depend on where this will actually end up on your stairway. But I just wanted to give you an idea how this system goes together here. Now I'd also like to show you the stair, the stair tread, how that works by putting the plywood on top of the stair stringer here and the plywood on top of the stair stringer here with an equal measurement seven and a half inches I'm not making any adjustments at all to this stair stringer and the landing connection now if I had um, if I had an inch and a half stair tread and three quarter inch stair landing I would have to add some materials to this last um, step here while I'm laying it out. All your adjustments should be made while you're laying the stair stringers out. But if you do uh, make a mistake, you can always add material at the top here. If I was going to be using inch and a half um, treads and three quarter inch stair landing material, that would give me a three quarter inch difference. I would need. I could always add a three quarter inch piece of material to the top of this which would lower the whole stair stringer down. And then what that does is when I put the inch and a half on top, I've um, solved my problem. That'll be another video. This video, I just probably got a little carried away. Just wanted to give you an idea how this works here with your risers and your treads. Now, don't, get, don't think this isn't a tread, that's just a scrap piece of plywood to give you an idea about the height.